Anyway guys, so these are going to be all the components that are going to go into this computer. I will add every single component on this computer um, links that you can actually find them if you so choose to. Unfortunately, that 1080 Ti you won't be able to find new, but you know, you can always find a pre owned and save yourself some money if you so choose to. What is going on everyone? So welcome to part two. This is for the rebuilt on the Corsair 4000, 4000D Air case. And um, I can't wait to start doing this computer. It's gonna look awesome once it's complete. This is all hardware that's gonna go into this computer, but the hardware that's in this computer is still relevant. It still games really, really well. It's still that's productivity, super awesome. Um, what else can I say about this build? Um, you know, it's a Ryzen 2700X. A core 16 threads. It has uh, 64 gigs of uh, Neo G Skills uh, Trident Z RGB. It's uh, 32 mega, 3200 mega speed. And um, we're gonna put a 2080 Ti in here, and it already has a two terabyte SSD N.2 in the in the motherboard already, so we don't have to do anything with that. And uh, we're gonna be installing uh, some RGB fans in the front, on the top, and one as an exhaust. And um, we're not gonna be removing the Be Quiet Dark Rec 4 Pro because it's a fantastic CPU cooler. So we don't need to remove that. That's gonna be staying in the motherboard. And uh, let's start building. Alright, with all of our fans installed, we can actually uh, put back on our filter. Once the filter is on, we can put back the cover. That's it, that's where it goes. Okay, we have all the stuff that we need. Let's uh, flip it. Let's lay it flat, and we are going to start installing, uh, adding the motherboard. All right, <clears throat> now that we place the motherboard where it needs to go, we can use our screws. And let's make sure that it's nice and tight. All right, so right now we are going to connect the USB type C. Okay, so that's out of the way. And uh, we're gonna connect the uh, front connectors. So that's out of the way. Let's push this down. Make sure that show the run. <clears throat> okay. And um, we are going to plug in our 
USB connector. It's just gonna be uh, not down here. One of those. Just make sure that it's nice and tidy and uh, you're good to go. It's like a little latch um, right here where you're plugging it in and uh, that's where it's gonna go. All right. That is pretty much all the wires we are going to need on this build. We're gonna need the peripherals, the graphics card, 2410, and the uh, CPU. Get our screws. Make sure we put this in. Okay, when it's on. After rewiring everything and making sure that everything is nice and tidy, it's not the prettiest work, but you know what? It holds up, so that's the only thing I have to do. And uh, let's flip it over. We have one final USB connection that we need to make, and that's for the uh, Commander Go Pro. We can plug it out right here. That's it. Now the back. Okay. 
Okay. So that is it for the belt. Now I am going to turn it on and uh, keep our fingers crossed. See if it works. All right, so the bill is finished. So everything is in working order. Just gotta change the resolution so it can match our monitor. All right, so right now what it's doing is just downloading some updates. Time to seal off the panels. Once it clicks, you are set and good to go.